This is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. And as I promised you in a previous thrift haul, I will be doing a DIY on this blue jean jacket. We're going to be doing a graphic design where you can just choose all of your favorite things and just kind of things that are memorable to you, that have meaning to you. You put them on your jacket and make it really cool. We're going to be using a Sharpie pen and a blue jean jacket, and that's it. And your ideas and your creativity that are in your head. So I'm going to show you the process of how I got started with designing mine and stay tuned for this easy right, DIY. Guys, so the first thing you want to do is find an area in your home where you can spread out and really get creative where you won't have a lot of distractions. We're in my studio, this loft area upstairs in our home and this is where I'm going to do the creative process. So I have my jacket draped over my dress mannequin. That's going to make it easy for me to kind of lay things out as I have them sketched out. So I'm going to show you my preliminary sketches so you can kind of see how I began my process. All right, so first thing you're going to need are multiple Sharpies. Uh, you may want to have more than three, but um, just in case they run out because the fabric really does absorb those. So you definitely want to have that. And you might want to start out with some preliminary sketches. So what I've done is I've sketched out the jacket and I've kind of put in some ideas of things that I thought, you know, would look nice on it. So things that are memorable to me, like things about my home hometown, uh, where I live now, places that I've traveled to, uh, music because that's a big part of my life. And um, then for the back, um, scriptures that mean something to me, the schools that I graduated from, Bible verses here. And I left this open to include a poem that I wrote. So yeah, that's my preliminary sketching. So now it's just a matter of putting everything on the jacket. Now, as I said before, I did put mine on a dress mannequin, but it may be easier to work on a flat surface. So you might want to just have like a piece of cardboard handy to place underneath the jacket and lay it on a flat surface and begin you know doing your sketching that way so that is an option so I'm just gonna experiment and try it both ways and we're just gonna see which way works best so I have decided to work on the table that's gonna be a little bit more comfortable for me so I've begun uh, began I should say sketching out what you see here which I wanted to start on the back side first uh, since um, it's just a better surface to work around since you don't have all the buttons I'll save the what I think will be the most challenging for last but I did slip a little like bore underneath which I'm just using one of my sketch pads as a board and I placed it underneath and so now I am sketching because you it will bleed through and you, of course you don't want it to bleed through on the other side so that's what I'm using and I'm just going to show you the process as I go along Alright, so it is storming outside guys and so this is the perfect day for a DIY but I want to show you the back that I've been working on that I have gotten done so far um, as you can see so I just wanted to say that when you're beginning to work on the sleeves it's best to put in some inserts so I've just cut out some little thin boards and I'm just gonna show you how you can use that to slip that right in so I'm just taking some old like I said just pieces of board from my scrapbook and I'm just gonna slide that in there so you can see that the board is in there and just slide that down 
and then you're ready to start doing your work on your sleeves so I hope you were able to see that let me just zoom back out but um, I'll just do that one more time in case you did not see it but so here's the board just gonna go underneath and then just slide that down the arm like you're putting your own arm in there and then you have your stable piece so now we're gonna start on the arms and then we'll go to the front all right so I've completed this DIY project on this jacket the top part upper back there's a poem called art that I wrote and then here is a scripture that I really really like from 1st Corinthians 13 8 ne love never fails and then of course music notes on the side because I just love music then I have my alma mater T Tennessee State for undergrad there and then for grad school ASU here this is my son's birthday there and it says champion because that's what his name means, Neil. And then over here, I have another favorite uh, Bible verse written on the arm. That's from Philippians 4, 8. It's, you know, reminding you to think on good things. And then here on this arm, I have another verse. This is from Proverbs about charm being deceitful, but beauty is fleeting but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised so I have that there and then we're just gonna turn this around now on the front part I have it symmetrically kind of balanced out I have noble strength as you all know that's the meaning of Audrey and then here is the year I was born and then this is the year that I moved to Augusta this is also the year that I was married so I have the my hometown here and just some highlights this is uh, one of the bridges there there's a bridge of Arkansas and then the Memphis Bridge and then this is the pyramid here because we do have a pyramid there and then here is my middle name Marie kind of playing into Memphis and then right here is my last name Crosby kind of playing into that over here this is my maiden name Young playing into the Augusta and then my first name there and then also on that side since I love art I had the painters palette with the brush and then Augusta is known for the Masters tournament and I could not very well use their logo so I just chose to do this golf ball there and then up on the shoulder is my dad's name first and middle name and he's passed and he served in World War II so I put that there and then over here my mom who's still living which I'm gonna go see next week her name and her, the year she was born and then on the arms are all the places that I've traveled to because I love to travel. And you'll notice that some have a wavy line underneath. That means I had to fly across seas to get there. So those are things that are out of the country or I had to cross borders to get there. So these are places that I've traveled just around the world and within the United States. So this is that jacket and I can always continually add to it. That's what I like about it. So yeah, that's the DIY project. Now I'm gonna try it on with an outfit for you. Well guys, this was an awesome DIY project to do. I am so glad that I chose to do it and chose to share it with you because now I can tell you two thumbs up. It was really worth it. If you have an imagination, which everybody does, then you can do this project. All you need is your thrifted jacket and a Sharpie pen and just get your creative juices flowing and then just start, you know, doodling and scribbling and you're going to have the coolest jacket in town. So I love this. So if you like traveling down memory lane, being nostalgic, Maybe you like to do scrapbooking. I think this would be great for you because it's kind of similar to that. So yes, I give it two thumbs up and like I say, very easy to do. And I want to encourage you to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much and he's put gifts inside of each and every one of us that we need to be sharing for his glory. So just get out there, whether you're a cook, a singer, a writer, a, whatever you are, share it with other people and remember to have a good week and I'll see you next time. Bye.